Leaders of the banned Hinutrep National Liberation Council or HNLC will be provided safe passage by the government for setting the agenda for the peace talks. Well, news of this massive development was given by HNLC interlocutor Southern Bla. Bla said that state interlocutor, with permission from the centre, has reached an understanding to provide safe passage to the HNLC leaders. The HNLC interlocutor said that since the last three months, the executive committee of Outfit has held three rounds of meetings with the state interlocutor P.S. Dakar. According to Bla, as the safe passage has been granted, it is expected that in the next few weeks, Asian LC leaders will be joining the discussions to set the agenda for the peace process. Stating that the intention of the safe passage is to enable the Asian LC leaders to come forward and have direct discussions with authorities, Bla added that the move will speed up the peace process. The central and the state government has granted safe passage to the leader of the agency. The safe passage is there to enable the agency to, to come and have a direct discussion with the authorities, be it of the state or the central government. So that is the intention of the safe passage and it will speed up the process also if the leaders of the agency are able to join the, I mean, are able to join the discussion and, and whatever negotiation that they have to do across the table with the central government and the state government. That is the intention. And if uh, the, the, the ceasefire has to happen, it will happen only after the leader of the HLC has been able or put forward the point of view in front of the state and central government. In the first chapter, we have to talk about the, the, the legality of allowing the HLC to come to the negotiation table first. Then the, what you ask me is about the political issues or the agendas that the HLC as a military position has been uh, and those for the past 30 years. So those agendas and those issues are yet to be discussed and yet to be uh, to be put in the public domain. Only after the safe passage is agreed and which have been agreed, then only things will move forward and public will be in the known about what are the you know the second chapter or what are the political agendas or political issues that the agency would put, would like to put forward to the state government and the central. Well, Bla added that uh, is it the norm in the rest of the Northeast where cadres of groups coming for talks have been rehabilitated. The same is expected in case of HNLC. We have seen that uh, uh, very, uh, I mean, different uh, uh, militants outfit in the Northeast India which have, uh, uh, which have come to the negotiation table. I mean, that is the protocol that the government have to follow. And I think government in the coming next coming days will have to take appropriate decision regarding the rehabilitation of the cadres also. And Bla also added that the HNLC has not been aggressive off late and that this was a positive sign. From the side of the, of the HNLC there has been no aggressive uh, uh, activities. I mean, uh, I won't say any other word, but no aggressive activities for the side of the HNLC, which only indicates that uh, the HNLC also from its part is serious about the peace process to, to, be moved, to, to move forward. All right, our news editor Nabrun Goswami joins us over the phone line to give us an update on this big development coming in from Bekhalia. Well, Nabrun, as the HNLC leaders uh, is being uh, granted safe passage, and this was mentioned by a big revelation by the HNLC interlocutor Southern Bla there that peace talks may begin soon. What is your thought on this? Rightly mentioned, Pooja, it's a massive development. However, we are yet to get a confirmation from uh, the state government. But yes, uh, the HNLC peace interlocutor, Sadon Bla, has said, confirmed that this, in, in, in this massive move, the central government, he said, the central government, the state government, have reached an understanding with the HNLC to grant safe passage to the leaders for engaging in peace talks. Uh, now, now uh, Bla also revealed that in the last three months, the so-called executive committee of the HNLC has held three rounds of meetings with uh, the state in interlocutor, mind you, P.S. Dakar uh, was uh, appointed the state interlocutor. Of course, uh, Dakar is a retired Indian uh, IS officer, and uh, he was uh, the state interlocutor who had been engaging in talks with the HNLC interlocutor. 
uh, uh, and and also leaders uh, of uh, the HNLC and uh, Blahar has formed that as many as uh, three in, in in the last three months. Uh, there were three rounds of meetings held, and it has been agreed upon uh, that uh, the agency leaders will be given safe passage uh, so that they can engage in the peace process. Now, peace process here doesn't mean that uh, they have been given safe passage to engage in the peace talks as such, but to what we understand uh, from what Sir John Bly is saying, uh, they will be given safe passage to set the agenda for the talks. Uh, again, uh, if uh, you have heard, uh, Sadhan Bla has not really said about what will be uh, the topic of the point of discussion or what could be the certain demands of the HNLC. That is not mentioned. The first thing, the first chapter, he said, is uh, to get the safe passage, uh, get it legally done, and uh, set the agenda for the talks. And that is the second chapter. The point of discussion will be, of course, the second chapter. And... Uh, that's that's the confirmation today that we are getting from the HNLC peace interlocutor. We are still waiting for a government confirmation. Now, uh, now, as per Bla, the safe passage has been granted. This is a big development in itself, and we can expect that in the next few weeks, next few weeks, some top HNLC leaders will be joining the discussion as far as setting the agenda for the peace process is concerned. So this is a massive development, uh, Puja, if you consider. Uh, the HNLC has been in the limelight of late. We have had uh, 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 more, more than a couple of last uh, explosions in in, 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 in Shillong city itself. Uh, apart from this, a recovery of an IED in Shillong. So yes, the HNLC has been in the news. Uh, the peace process had begun. The, 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 the momentum for the peace talks had begun months ago. Uh, with, of course, the Don Blair, the HNLC Peace Interlocutor, P.S. Dakhar as the State Interlocutor, things finally seem to be moving now. This is a big turning point, big development in the sense that finally after a long time, all this time the government had maintained that uh, first they have to give up arms and only then any, any talks can be held. Uh, well, uh, we are not still clear on the ceasefire part, but definitely uh, the safe passage can actually break the ice and uh, we, can, we can expect that uh, the peace process to begin pretty soon, Pooja. All right. Now, Nabarun, we just also heard uh, from the Outfits uh, interlocutor, which uh, he added that uh, as is the norm in the rest of the Northeast where cadres of groups are coming for talks have been rehabilitated, the same is expected in case of HNLC as well. Absolutely. I mean, that will happen as and when the peace talks conclude. That will be a part of the package. But yes, the most interesting part would now be uh, what about the ceasefire? We, if it has to happen, it, could ha it can happen, as uh, Sadon Blas said, only after the HNC, le HNC leaders put forward their views uh, in front of the government. And, and, and uh, you know, even, even uh, the legality of allowing them uh, for coming to the, nego the negotiation table. There are a lot of factors now, but definitely this is a turning point. There's a big breakthrough. At least uh, uh, the, a safe passage will be provided. There will be an interaction, direct interaction between the agents, agents, the leaders, and the authorities, and the government representatives. And we can expect now for things to move. But the peace process, the peace talks can take a long time, as we have seen in many other cases. But uh, with Meghalaya approaching the assembly elections uh, soon, in a few months' time, this definitely, definitely is a big move, uh, Puja, and also adds another feather to the cap of the Congress Sangma-led government in the state.